wasn't recording. I wasn't recording before. But hello. I didn't show you guys when I finished my hair. I didn't show you guys when I started doing this hair yesterday. I should have. I should have vlogged that. I should have vlogged when I was finished with the hair. But I didn't do that. <laughs> but hi, it's me. I'm just sitting here. Um, I'm just sitting here being cute. Wow, that sounds so cocky, but I don't care. I feel really good about myself right now. I like my makeup. I didn't like my, if you didn't, if you couldn't tell and or did I say it in the last video? Let me put you, yeah, you're right there, okay, cool. If you couldn't tell in the last video, uh, at the end of it, I was not happy with my green eye makeup. I loved it, just not on me. If I did it on someone else, I guess I just don't like the color green as eyeshadow on me, which is funny because I, if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't had a green wig. I don't, yeah, that's like the one color that I, I haven't had. Genuinely, yeah, I haven't had a green wig. I probably had uh, something that, and faded into green tips, but I don't, I don't. I have one that was supposed to be, it's like a green blue, but <laughs> I tried on one green wig. It was a giant green curly, giant big curls uh, green wig, because you guys know how I feel about having giant curls. I love it didn't look good on me even eric because i was with rest my baby soul um i was with eric when i tried on a green wig and it did not look good i remember that day it did not look good we got a completely different other color so i guess that's probably part of the reason i, I guess i just don't like the color green on me because i do like the color green obviously speaking my tat my tattoos have are remnants of green but um but i like this makeup look a lot i just for this look um, I keep doing this to my hair because I like I, I like how it looks behind. I just I'm proud of myself for doing this guys I'm proud of myself for doing that. This is the that's this is genuinely the first time I've ever sat down It took all Sunday. It took um It took all Sunday. I have a very patient boyfriend He sat there we smoked and just watched trailer park boys that 70s show we started a new anime I'll put the anime name on the screen. I completely forgot what it's called but he sat there like a patient baby. Sorry for the trash man outside. Sorry for it. Anyway, uh, sorry about that. I sat down, yeah, I split my hair up into like five or six different parts and I took my time. Um, I'm gonna, it's mostly so I can for hair growth because I want my hair to grow even longer. Um, but there's not really a tutorial. I mean, I'll do a tutorial if you guys would like on this the next time that I do it. I intend on keeping my braids like this for the next three weeks, two and a half to three weeks, and then um, wash my hair and then do it again. I've, that's what I'm going to do. I feel like I'm going to, for three weeks out of the month, I will have my hair in braids. Like, I'll spend the time and I'll braid my hair. And then for uh three weeks for two and a half to three weeks that's when i like wear wigs and whatnot because this is a protective style to help with my hair growth and then for a week the last week or the first week of the month i wear my natural hair out which is like a few i don't know if you guys have noticed that that's that's what i've been doing if you if you noticed in the past couple vlogs i was trying to to do that but yeah okay but anyway i like it a lot comment down or leave a like if you like it too somebody asked for tips about hair growth i'll be i'll um blah, blah, blah. more than happy to give you guys my hair that's a good video actually shout out to the person that asked that question that's a good video i'm definitely gonna do that because my hair story is funny my hair story is <clears throat> my hair story is very very funny yeah <laughs> i used my morphe my morphe i don't know what the numbers are because like it's scratched out I think it's 35, I only have two palettes, two Morphe palettes, 3502 and this isn't the 3502, okay, so this is 3502, I believe, because I said it a lot on this channel, and then I have a Morphe 39A. Out of this, I used this dusty orange color all over my lid, and then I used this in the center to try to create like a halo effect in the center of my lid, and then in the crease, in the crease because I love this. I use it. It's my highlight too. Um, if you could, I don't know if you can. You can you can you tell? Can you can you can you can you tell that? Okay. This is out of my favorite. This is my favorite palette by far. My favorite 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 at at Juvia's Place. Please sponsor me. No, <laughs> you're right. This is my favorite makeup brand probably ever. Their fucking eyeshadows are everything. But as you can tell, I use the ever living fuck out of this. I love this eyeshadow palette. I use it way more than the other ones. Um, it's uh, Casablanca, and this is my highlight and at the, the inner corners. Yeah, and then on my eyebrows, oh, 
If you want to know what color my eyebrows are, because you guys know I shave my eyebrows and I just draw them on when I want to have eyebrows, it's uh, this, like, brownish color. Wait, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> this brownish color right here for my eyebrows. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. I need to go ahead and pick. I don't even know what I'm wearing. I don't even know if I'm wearing my hair out for the scene or not. Am I wearing my hair out? I don't think so. No, no, I don't think I'm wearing my hair out. The scene that I'm doing, it's... You'll see when I get dressed and I set everything up. I'll be sure to turn the camera back on. But, all right. Here's a fun fact about me. Um, a really good way for you to not smoke too much. There is a such thing as smoking too much, okay? There, you can't have too much of anything. And a really good way for you to minimize that is when you like if you love to roll blunts because i love rolling blunts just roll a blunt and then take like three or four hits and put it out and then go about your business guarantee you will be you'll start you'll get high and also you'll become distracted do your shit and then a couple hours pass by and this like one blunt lasted me like six hours because i've been up since five so wait but i guess this is my way of ending this uh this clip Please don't do that at home, kids. I'm just a dumbass idiot who doesn't want to fuck up her lips, but don't do that, okay? That's how you burn your face off, okay? Don't take after this, okay? Please. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, I wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like, because look what I did. I was going to put a wig on, but I was like, I like my hair when I put it in a bun. I wonder what it would look like, and I did it, and it's really cute. So I decided to change the entire scene that I'm filming because I made this, like, this, um... What's it called? Uh, ponytail. <laughs> I made this ponytail and I love it. I love it a lot. I'm doing a girlfriend cream pie scene instead. I was gonna do a Sailor Moon scene because um, I, I didn't vlog it. Fuck, I didn't vlog it. Follow me on my social media, but um, on Sunday, me and the babe went to the mall and he bought me a Sailor Moon, pil Sailor Moon pillow, which is so fucking cute. And I was gonna like hump it and come on it for a scene today because I have a lot of Sailor Moon shit and I was gonna make it like I'm a super Sailor Moon fan I'm still gonna do that scene like hello I'm still gonna do that scene but now I get to do something different today so yeah all right I'm gonna go ahead and pick because I need to pick my outfit okay bye so I finished filming um I finished filming my cream pie scene and I finished filming some promo stuff for my only fans and my private snap which I'm very proud of I'm so proud of myself so now I'm gonna clean the mess that I made I'm a small little mess and then I'm gonna sit down and evaluate what I'm doing next because babe got off work early today so he's on his way home or he's home right now and then he'll be over here to me so I should probably pick what I'm wearing today I don't even know I could wear no I can't wear this <laughs> okay, this is I. it is me I'm sitting laying down here my boobs are like practically flying out of this but I'm just laying down I'm watching um like, I like to watch documentaries about murder documentaries. I've always liked that. Comment down below if you like, like, like uh, the ID channel. Whenever I watch Wendy Williams and whenever, like, or I watch her Hot Topics, and then whenever she goes on her tangents about crime shows, I'm like, I feel you, Queen, I feel you. Anyhow, you know what's funny? <clears throat> I watch Wendy, right? I watch Wendy, and she says a lot of problematic stuff, okay? But the one thing that irks me is when people are like, she needs to butt her nose into other people's business. It's her job. Her job is drama. <coughs> <clears throat> her job is gossiping i don't agree with what she says all the time i don't obviously like she's way mega conservative especially in comparison to me like i know like if i were to make no when i make my dreams come true right and she ever talks about me it would be not the best like because i do porn you know like she has her biases against porn already she has her biases against people who sell their bodies <clears throat> this is this is me i am a product i have no issues selling what i do because I think it's beautiful and I'm proud of what I do. Shit, I like it, you know what I mean? But anyhow, um, I find it funny, yeah, that I watch her knowing, knowing full well of that. But I like to watch people that I don't agree with. I do. I like to watch people that I don't agree with because you find stuff out. Like, one, don't just stick with the people that you normally watch to get your news, even if it's drama or gossip or anything like that. Because they're gonna tell, like, nine times out of ten, doesn't matter how much you love them, they're gonna have their biases, they're gonna tell you incorrect shit, or they're gonna spin a narrative. Trevor Noah, 
has spun a narrative. Uh, I love him. Trevor Noah spun a narrative. I love him. Stephen Colbert has spun, spun a narrative. I love. I love him. Um, Seth Meyers has spun a narrative. I love him. I, I watch all these people, but they'll be in the middle of pitching a joke or going into a segment, and I already like read the news articles, seen the clips. Like I've already like I know the story. I know the facts of what happened. And when they don't, when when I watch when I watch my favorite hosts skip the facts for a joke. It's like you're playing into, I don't know, it's just, it's annoying, but I, I do recognize that there's bias on both sides. There's bias on both sides. At the end of the day, I feel like if we could all just sit down and conversate and talk about it and get our points across, but it's never going to happen, we're just going to end in nuclear anarchy. <laughs> I'm waiting for Ian to get here. <coughs> Holy shit. I'm waiting for him to get here. Hi. <sighs> I'm so impatient. <laughs> I need to pee. I could totally go pee right now. I need to pee. I don't want to get up because I want him to get here, but I should go pee. Uh, I know where he's at because like we have our locations turned on for each other so I can always see where he's at. He can always see where I'm at. And uh, he's really close. He's at his friend's house right now. Um, and I just know that he's so close. And it's like, ah, I just want, ah! I'm so needy. I'm like this every day, by the way. Every day when he's on his way home from work or when he's on his way to me, I always, I'm always really impatient and finicky unless I'm watching something. Unless something has already occupied my attention, I'm very, very finicky.